You are the most annoying brother. Step brother. Same difference. Yeah. All right. Hello everyone, welcome to Odd On Demand, where I post videos every week about pop culture, politics, and everything in between. So let me take y'all on a journey back to 2006, right? It was a simple time. High School Musical and the Danimals Sweet Life sweepstakes were all we knew at the time. And um, one day you're just sitting down watching Disney Channel as you have been for, I mean, at least five hours at that point. And Hannah Montana's drawn the little Disney ears. And you know, you see that an episode of Life with Derek is up next. So you grab a little snack, you sit down and watch like three different commercials for Gogurt and Ring Pops, and you strap in for 22 minutes of two step siblings having way too much sexual tension. And let's be honest, you were kind of living for it. The bickering, the banter, you were eating that up. And now I'm gonna bring you back to 2021 you and we can sit and ponder in silence about how Disney Channel made children everywhere ship two step siblings. Now, in case you're not familiar, Life with Derek is a Canadian sitcom that aired on the Canadian Family Channel, but also on Disney Channel from 2005 to 2009. The story follows Michael Cedar, AKA Derek, and Ashley Lagotte, AKA Casey, as they play two teens who become step siblings after their parents get married. Casey is like a type A ambitious student who constantly fights with her brother Derek, who's like more of a slacker and cares more about like his band than his grades. Now, for some of the show like they do just get into like the typical sibling shenanigans that typical step siblings usually get into driving test next saturday next saturday i'm taking my first road test next saturday how funny would it be if i got my license before you hysterical but sometimes things would get a little bit weird as in like there was this weird uncomfortable yet ever-present subtext of like casey and derek being like kind of into each other. The last one to get their license pays the other's gas for a year. Deal. May the best driver win. <laughs> Hit it, guys! He said it was over and it was not over. Yeah. All right. And we knew it was weird. Like we knew, like when we were six to 10 years old, we knew that like this probably wasn't supposed to be given what it gave since they were step siblings, but like we were just following the flirty undertones we were being given. And look, America is not new to this whole like step sibling trope. Who can forget Dan and Serena and Gossip Girl, Lou and Valerio and Elite, Sharon, Josh and Clueless, Callie and Brandon from The Fosters, George Michael and maybe in Arts of Development. <sighs> Damn, um, Catherine and Sebastian and Cruel Intentions, whatever this was from the Brady Bunch. I can't believe I have to share my far out pad with my sister. Three, four, 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 four. Marsha. Yes, Greg. But the difference is that all of these movies and TV shows are geared towards like a slightly older audience, like one that can already kind of make distinctions for themselves between what's like legal and what's morally acceptable. They are not um, G-rated Disney Channel children's shows. And if you still think I'm making up all this tension from this show, people wrote almost 3000 Derek Casey fan fictions on fanfiction.net while the show was airing with summaries like Derek wants Casey, but what Derek doesn't know is that Casey wants him. Both will stop at nothing to be with each other. Or the family's gone, leaving Derek and Casey alone in the house. What will happen? And that's not even getting into the fan fiction on Archive of Our Own, the books on Wattpad, the fan art, the couple edits and compilations on YouTube, the GIFs on Tumblr, entire fan communities on LiveJournal, all made while the show was airing, probably by little seven to 10 year olds just like me praying for these two step siblings to get together. And make no mistake, the lead actors ate this up like it was Christmas dinner. I am not kidding. The actors supported a relationship between their two characters with their entire chest. And in fact, in a 2016 interview with MTV, the actors admitted that they knew about the Daisy, like Derek Casey ship, um, and went out of their way to incorporate Daisy scenes and chemistry into the show. They were reading quote, X-rated Daisy 
fan fiction in their spare time and in 2007 even sat down to read and act out Daisy fan fiction. Hey everyone, it's Ashley and Mike. Hello! And right now we are going through all of these websites. We're gonna find a fan fiction, hopefully it'll be yours, and we're gonna act it out, see what happens. Just face it, case, I am irresistible. Irresistible, you're egotistical. There was even gonna be a Life with Derek spinoff called Life with Derek Again. And according to Michael Cedar, AKA Derek, he said that the show was gonna start out with a scene of Derek and Casey in bed together, but won't tell us the context. Now, I'm sure we all like left Life with Derek in the past and moved on. But this past January, Life with Derek was actually trending on Twitter because a user posted um, the video I played earlier with the caption, nah, Canada needs to answer for this one. <laughs> People replied saying, I shipped them so hard and I hated every minute of it. They really had all that subtext, but at the same time they were playing step siblings, which is a 110% true. Like this is not like a Troy and Gabriella situation where you'd like go to the lunchroom the next day and like kiki with your friends. Like, no, this is a ship you kept to yourself. Someone else said, Disney had no right creating this tension and why was it stronger than in any other show where the kids weren't family? Which again, facts, Hannah Montana and her boyfriends had a quarter of the chemistry that Derek and Casey had. So what was I gonna do with that as a seven year old? And someone else said, life with Derek isn't on Disney Plus because they know what they did. <laughs> And of course, the lead actors were very much here for it with Ashley Lagat, AKA Casey, saying, I love the yearly nostalgic Life with Derek trend that happens. By the way, I still go down with this ship, hashtag Life with Derek, hashtag Daisy. And Michael, AKA Derek, retweeted the original video with the caption, Trailblazers. Now, of course, apart from being just like a nostalgic blast from the past, like why is this show still relevant today? Now, when you see anyone like kind of sort of questioning why Disney Channel was serving us step-sibling romantic undertones on a silver platter, um, a lot of people are quick to say that because Derek and Casey were only step-siblings because of marriage, then a relationship between them would have been totally legal and fine. And that is legally correct for sure. However, I don't know about y'all, but I know this seven year old me was not hopping on to findafamilyattorney.com to look up the difference between by blood and by marriage. If someone had asked me, I would not have known the difference. And that's what's kind of concerning to me when it comes to who Life with Derek was for. Obviously the characters never did anything like outright crazy, but we've already established that there was enough subtext and chemistry and tension for a lot of children and some adults to kind of suspect that something was going on between these two step siblings. And the degree to which that normalization might have influenced the way that children went on to view their own family dynamics or family relationships that might actually have been inappropriate is a little bit concerning to me. There's this website where parents can review children's shows for other parents so that other parents can know if they're appropriate for their kids. And while the show was airing, one parent left an interesting comment. They said, the power struggle between Derek and Casey does not seem to me to be, quote, new step sibling driven, but more, quote, worse secretly attracted to each other driven. I think that the writers and directors should do a better job at keeping this step-sibling relationship above reproach. Another parent said, the show is targeted to viewers about my age, which is 19, and let's face it, the age group that the Disney Channel attracts is like ages two to 10. The show should probably air on Nick at Night or ABC Family. So again, yeah, it is creepy, but if we're looking at like a Serena Dan situation, a Catherine Sebastian situation, it's a little weird, but I don't see any issue with using these tropes in TV shows and movies that are geared towards older audiences. But I do think that in a G-rated show for children, it's like the, this kind of dynamic and this kind of relationship is definitely a little bit sus, at least. Okay, y'all, so obviously this show has been off air for, I mean, at least a decade now. And, you know, it's definitely a show that Disney wants you to forget all about, but I hope that it's just a fever dream that we all lived through and a nostalgic memory for us and didn't have any real world consequences for anyone out there. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you never want to miss an upload from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.